Prior to my music career, I'd like to call it my musical journey in elementary school. I would listen to the radio and watch programs like the OMTV Raps. Hollywood Hamilton had a countdown show. And so every night on my tape recorder, I would record the top 10 countdown minus the commercials. And I would bring it to my sixth grade classmates and play it at lunch. And I remember that feeling of somebody running up to me and saying, what is that song? Or I love that song too. And it just gave me this feeling of enjoyment and, and knowing that music can really personify emotions, whether it's making you feel good or making you feel understood. I wanted to be a part of that process and in helping you recognize those songs that, that'll get you to that point. When I first got in the music industry, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know what, what exactly where to go to, to be somebody that was behind the scenes. I didn't sing, I didn't rap. So I started interning everywhere. You know, Radio Disney, uh, Radio Express, OnAir.com were some of my first jobs until I, I found Nara and I, I met the creators of MySpace.com. And they said, we're, we wanna create a digital social platform for artists. You know, what are your thoughts? What are your marketing ideas? And you know, I said, where do I sign up? I think the best part of my job was meeting artists at the beginning stages. You know, Justin Bieber coming to the office with his mom and you know playing a few cover songs to a year later being on, on the red carpet with him at the Grammys and interviewing about the success that he just had to meeting Drake when he was just uploading his mixtapes and giving them away for free and getting millions of plays and booking shows off of the platform and then later being able to make him Rookie of the Year in partnership with BET. Those experiences and helping new artists that were so talented get to the next stage of their careers is always a memorable experience. Whether it's B.O.B. and you know, helping him, you know, get booked for a TV show, or it's Kendrick Lamar, you know, working with him and booking his first national live stream performance, to a few weeks ago helping secure a headlining show in Hawaii for thousands of people. It was such an honor at 29 years old to be featured in Billboard Magazine's uh, 30 Under 30 with people like Daniel Ek, the founder of Spotify, Cortez Bryant, the manager of Nicki Minaj and Lil Wayne, and Scooter Braun, manager of Justin Bieber and Tori Kelly. And to be featured in, in, in the Source Magazine's Power 30 with notables like Diddy or Russell Simmons, with the founders of MySpace.com, Krista Wolf and, and Tom Anderson, was something unimaginable. You know, we started uh, MySpace.com with 126 registered hip hop artists within two years at over two million. So to be in that issue um, with a lot of those notables really was a testament to all of our hard work. It's been so exciting to start my own company, The Third Floor Network, with the same premise of, of three floors, past, present, and future. There's so much clutter in the industry, it's hard to trust anybody. But what we can trust is a referral by a trusted source. So what we would do is help connect the dots with artists, brands, services, media companies um, coming to us and, and for a recommendation on who they should book you know, for a live event or for an interview that'll help draw an audience to their platform. It helps foster collaboration, introducing artists to producers or an artist to a music video director. Whatever the end goal in mind, um, we help foster those relationships. There's so many great platforms out there, whether it be YouTube, SoundCloud, you know, Twitter, to not be restrictive to just one platform, but to be able to tell artists and brands and services what is best for them and their end goals is the basis of our company. Hey, this is Rosalind, founder of Third Floor Network and host and producer of Third Floor Radio on Ski 24-7. Make sure to check out everything we're doing on thirdfloornetwork.com.